everyone, it's Brianna Ray from BriIY and I'm here to bring you another video. Today I was thinking, you know, there are just some things that you cannot be an art YouTuber without doing. And of course that one, or at least one of those things, is galaxy painting. I've never attempted any galaxy themed anything. And uh, as I was browsing around my local craft shop and trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do for this video, um came across a set of fake Crocs. I have never worn Crocs before, ever. Um, <laughs> I've never purchased them, and I thought it might be kind of fun to do like a little uh, two-parter here. I'd like to paint them, and I also want to see if I can go about creating some clay gibbets? Gibbets? I don't know what they're called, but the little things that go in here to go along with the galaxy vibe. And I think I still have some glow-in-the-dark Elmer clay left over that I think would be absolutely perfect for a project like this. So I think I'm going to try my hand at doing a galaxy painting for the first time and then create some moon and star gibbets for the inside. That is the vibe that I'm going for and I am super excited to do this. Um, I actually think I'm going to paint one first and kind of get the, the hang of it first before I do this one as a part of a tutorial. Um, but I think I'm just going to have to start by getting uh, tape around all the edges and of course getting some paint paint. The colors I think I'm going to go with are a black for the base, and then I have this really deep English navy that is basically almost black, um, and then of course I have some brighter colors, the, uh, let's see, parrot blue, princess pink, and petunia purple. This will kind of create that like fun, colorful galaxy vibe, and then of course some white to kind of sprinkle in that uh, star texture, and all these are matte paints as well, so that I can apply in a clear acrylic gloss after. I'm excited, it's time to get taping. <laughs> All right, we've got our tape. I think I'm gonna do this front part and maybe the strap is the other part that I'm thinking of doing. Um, it's gonna kind of depend as I go, but I think I've got all of the, the flat parts kind of done. I didn't want to have to paint any textures. And of course I have already started on the other shoe. That way it would have enough time to dry. Um, and there we have that. I'm gonna do this uh, plain black uh, layer over all the top and uh, just kind of keep rolling. So to get this one done, and also because I'm using a washi tape and not something super heavy duty because I want it to be able to come off really nicely, I do usually start on the tape and then pull up. That way I am not uh, possibly risking getting under. Sometimes I'll go to the sides to kind of get all of the areas in there. And I know I'm gonna have to do a second layer as well. So that is the way that I'm going to be doing this. And I think, I think I'm just going to maybe hyperlapse through the painting of the first shoe and then come back and do a more detailed uh, tutorial element uh, uh, to kind of talk about the process that I'm using to get my galaxy effect. I have some ideas, but we're just going to have to see what works best. Honestly, it didn't turn out super bad. Um, it's not quite the vision I had in my head, but I definitely think it has the galaxy vibe, and I would definitely like to paint this. I feel like having only the color up here just doesn't quite look right, so I think it would be nice to have this probably be like the navy blue. Um, and yeah, I think I'm ready to kind of move on. So when I was doing this, I originally tried uh, kind of watering it down because I thought that, that would, I don't know, look better, I guess. Um, I regretted that decision because it ended up just taking the uh, initial layers of black paint off and I didn't love that. So instead, and I'm going to be using the same brush for all of this because I think that'll make it, that made it a little bit blendier. Um, I'm going to go in with like this deep navy, which against the black actually looks a lot bluer than it did say like in the, original bucket, bottle, that's the word I was looking for, bottle. And um, I'm gonna pretty much get this all over, maybe except like the very edges. Um, and I did kind of like a diagonal, like radius, I suppose, radial design where it like kind of came in to like a center diagonal line with the pink. Next color I went in with was this uh, petunia purple. Uh, I feel like maybe I should have gone with a darker purple, but I do actually like the way that it looks. Uh, and I'm going to kind of start creating that 
diagonal as you can see all the way across and yes working fast on this does I think make it look a lot better this diagonal and then I like to use the edge like the dry edge of the brush that doesn't have any paint on it to kind of soften the edges I think that makes it look a little bit more natural and then once that's done I went in with the parrot blue which incidentally I think is just too watery um, that's obviously just kind of a it happens to be that way with my paint but I'm gonna kind of dab this one kind of like almost on the like inside the purple because I want this to be a lot more um, what's the word like I want it to kind of look like it's reflecting maybe more because it's a brighter color so I do kind of have it going out just a bit and before I go too far with that, I'm going to dab back into that purple and kind of fill in the edges again using the other side to make sure that it has that really natural look. There we go. And then of course, last, certainly not least, pink. I'm actually going to dab a little bit more in there. I'm actually going to dab a lot of the excess off. So I just have a very little bit to kind of go through that center, kind of give it a little bit of a curve around the toe. And this side to blur it out. And of course I'm going to go back with some of that initial blue and kind of dab that back in just to make sure that it still reads as a galaxy and not just a big giant hodgepodge of a mess. And with all that done, I am going to take a, where's my brush? Oh, a really like thick bristled brush. Um, and I'm gonna dab a little bit of white, get any excess off, and then use that to do the spraying motion. All right, pick up and go. All right, I hit this with my hair dryer. Now time to peel off the barrier and it's not perfect it did get under a little bit in a couple of places so all I'm gonna do for that is I have a q-tip with a little water on it and I'm just gonna go over because of the material that these uh, are made out of it's pretty easy or at least it was on the last set there we go to get some of the excess off and I can always go in with a detail brush and uh, kind of get to the big pieces that I missed And there we have them side by side. I think I'm gonna go in and paint this guy and then bring out my acrylic seal and seal these guys in. And then once that dries, probably tomorrow, I can start on my filming for the gibbets. And there we have it. We got our galaxy vibes. I got them painted on the back. Um, nice edge on both sides. So depending on where I wear them, they'll still look good. Um, I left the insides white because I don't want to rub any of it off, frankly. And I think this outside is going to look uh, perfectly fine. Um, I just got like a little bit of leftover paint kind of floating around, but I think once I get the sealer on, it'll be great. And I'm going to be using this uh, Patricia Nimix clear acrylic sealer. Um, and it looks like um, I can, they should be dry to the touch within about five or 10 minutes. So I am going to do that. Maybe take some uh, last minute photos and I'm excited. I hope you guys like them. Check them out. I actually think they turned out pretty gosh darn good. And they definitely got that like little shiny bit to them. Uh, the back is also equally as shiny and fully coated. And I should also be able to slip them off easily, flip it up into the slide part or the slide form, and it works perfectly good. Actually, I really like them. And now that's coming from someone who doesn't totally love Crocs. Um, they're not super my aesthetic, but these ones are pretty gosh darn cute. And I cannot wait to add in those gibbet gibbet things. Eventually, before I put out the next video, I will be making sure I know how that's pronounced. But yes, I do like them. I think they look great. And these are going to be a nice little uh, statement by my front door when I run up to take the trash out using these. <laughs> or maybe do a quick run to, to the corner store. But 
yeah, I think these are great. I hope you guys liked them. I hope you guys got a little inspiration and I hope you all have an awesome week. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time and I'd love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again so, so much and I will see you then. Bye.